It's me and my brat. But um, forgive me for coming to y'all looking straight up, ghetto, ratchet, horrible, all that good stuff. But um, anywho, I wanted to come to you guys to do sort of a maybe a tutorial kind of thing. But the only thing is, I don't know how it's going to turn out because I wanted to do it with y'all. But um, just to get started, I am four and a half years natural. Do it, see if it. Son, really? This is like a little lymph check. My hair is kind of long. Well, it's long. But um, I did a flexi rod set last Thursday. So um, I'm getting kind of bored with it. And plus, it's a hot mess right now because I've slept on it, among other things. So, um, I was like, what can I do? Because I really don't want to, like, wash it out yet. And plus, I'm being a little lazy because today is, like, the weather is horrible. Rainy, cold, all that. So, I'm like, I really don't want to wash it out yet. So, um, one of my homegirls was like, well, just tease it up or something or put it up in a cute ponytail or something. So, I was like, I really don't like showing my edges because from where I've had braids, tore my edges out. But... Handy dandy tropical isle living. This right here. It's the strong roots, red pimento. Son, really with this guitar. Anyway, um, with the strong roots red pimento hair growth oil. I've been putting this on my edges. And hopefully you can see the words on it. Because the way I have my camera. But um it's the strong roots red pimento hair growth oil. And I've been putting that on my edges, like they were completely bald. But as you can see, I do have some hair sprouting up. So my hair is growing back. So slowly but surely, it's coming back. So I'm really not worried about it anymore. But anywho, um, I'm just going to use a few products to try to cuten it up. And um, wear it in like a ponytail or something. So I also don't have on any makeup because I'm actually going to do a makeup tutorial for you guys after once I'm actually dressed. So, um, we gonna get this started. If you wanna see what I'm gonna do to this mess, keep on watching. You gonna say bye, Aiden? Or you gonna just sit here and look like a convict? Crazy. All right, just keep on watching. All right, now, first things first. I have had this product for a long time and I have not used it yet. I've heard mixed reviews about it, so I just want to try it for myself so really I can tell whether it works for me or not. But it's Pantene Truly Natural Hair Defining Curl Styling Custard. And I'm just going to use that as sort of like a gel kind of sort of. And to moisturize my hair, I'm going to use my shea butter. And I also use this in my hair. It's um, Spectrum Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. It's actually for cooking, but I noticed that it works wonders in my hair. So, that's what I use. So, with that, we're going to get started. Yeah. So, let me um, take my glasses off. All right. So, um, and I actually have like a headband that I'm actually going to use for the ponytail. So, and I have a round brush. I like these. I know you're not supposed to use hard brushes and stuff when your hair is natural, but I like this. I'm going to tease it a little bit with this, with the end of it. So, let's get started. I'm just going to use a little bit of this custard because it's kind of thick. Oh, Lord. This looks like man stuff. It looks like man stuff. <laughs> if you catch my drift, it looks like man stuff. See? Well, man stuff shouldn't be that thick, but it looks like man stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna... It smells good, though. And just put a little bit. And I hope this stuff doesn't leave like a residue. But again, I can review this too, and forgive me because I have a rather large head, but it's all good. My man like it. So, um, 
just a little bit in the back. This stuff is starting to wave up already. All right, that's enough of that. So, all right, just a teeny bit of my coconut oil. And this tends to be all I really use because after you really rub it in your hands, a little bit looks like a lot. So I'll just use a little teeny bit and rub it. Rub it, rub it, rub it. All right, now where my brush go? Here it goes. All right. So with that, I'm just going to lightly, not a whole lot because I really don't want to lose my curls or brush through them. So just to smooth it. And again, them dang blasted edges. No more braids for me for a while. Or if I get braids again, I'm going to tell them to ease up on my edges. Or if I do it myself, I need to ease up on my edges. So, that's enough. And forgive the crying. That's my other baby, Derry Jr. Acting crazy. He's out with my nephew. And he's sleepy. So with that being said, I'm going to take my little headband. I'm just, I like doing this with a headband because like I said, I have a lot of hair and a big head. So just like you're doing a puff, start to tighten it. And bring it over. What is he messing with? You will see. Gasoline. Be shiny, boy. All right. I don't like how the front looks, though. So maybe I will. It's not horrible. <coughs> so, and then I'm gonna take my little comb here and just kind of tease it out just a little bit. Hey, mommy, you have glasses. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You want to say hi? Uh -huh. Say hi. Say hey. Cheese. No cheese. No cheese. Okay. You have an attitude like your mom, that's all. Yeah. Which is... <laughs> okay, that's too hot for YouTube, son. Okay, back to my hair. All right. And just gonna take some more of that. <laughs> He's rubbing his face. And just give it a little shine. It doesn't have to be completely neat, like. But it is kind of cute, though. So, pretty much, that's my little look that I was going for. If you have like twist outs or flexi rod sets or something, it's a good alternative to do before you really are ready to wash it out. So, I hope you guys like, remember to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and let me know if there's anything that you want to see from me. So, with that being said, bye.